And we're getting ready for the first pitch of this ball game, which will come at approximately 5.04, so about 41 minutes early, as we're trying to beat the rain, if there is going to be some rain this evening. James Etheridge delivers his first pitch, and it's a fastball, and it is a strike, and it is a beauty outside edge. James's numbers are very impressive, even though his record is 0-2. It's a hard luck 0-2. And the 0-1 pitch, another fastball, this one low, one ball and one strike. His earned run average is also equal to the batting average opponents have against him. 233, 2.33, 233, swing and a miss, strike two. He's pitched 18 innings, allowed 17 hits, 12 runs but only six earned. He struck out 20 and walked six. But he took the loss against Brantley, and he pitched well in that game on the road. Took the loss against Appling, and really pitched well after the second inning. Pitches inside. Two balls, two strikes. Brian Mixon, the hitter, a right-hander. The wind is calm. The temperature is nice. The crowd is small. If you're listening, you better get here. You're going to miss some baseball. 2-2 two -two pitch is hit. On a one-hopper to Bailey Salter. He picks it up and throws it over to Brandon Driggers for the first out of the ball game. He's slightly up in the box, waving the bat. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Round ball out. Strike out. Two up and two down. Here's County is a half a game back at six and one. The loss was to Appling. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Easy inning for James Etheridge as he records his 21st and 22nd strikeout of the season. Back to back and a three up and three down. So Brandon Turner is catching and the 0-1 pitch is a fastball hit on the ground. A hopper off the chest of the third baseman Treadwell. Ricochets over to Brad Thomas and he'll just eat the baseball right there. Here's the wind up. Here's the pitch. We get a ground ball right up the middle and in for a base hit. That scores one and that's going to score two. Rounding third coming home with Brandon Beckham. The throw is offline and racing down to second base is Jeremy Beasley who drives in his fourth and fifth run of the season and puts the Bulldogs up 2-0 here in the bottom of the first inning. Lost to the Valley Indians 7-6. 1-2 pitch swing and a miss strike three. James has struck out three in a row. 1-0 pitch. This one is hit up in the air. And into right field, Levi Allier comes in a couple of steps, waits and squeezes it for another three up and three down. Two in a row for James Etheridge. 2-0 Bulldogs, bottom of the second. As Dixon comes set and delivers, and Bailey slaps it into left field for a base hit. Matthew Hall coming to third and being waved. Here's the throw from the left fielder. It's cut off. Matthew scores, throw down a second, and Bailey slides in, and the ball gets away, and it's rolling in the center field, and nobody is backing it up, and Bailey rounds third, and he's going to score easily. That ball just picked up in center field. As the Bulldogs score two, one on a base hit, one on an error. So now the Bulldogs lead four zip. It's a long trip from Darien. 2-0 pitch to Brady. Swings and loops this ball into left center field. It drops in for a Bulldog base hit. Brady is going to race to second base as this ball gets by Mixon. Will he stop there? No, he's still running. Here he comes to third. Here's a throw. He slides in safely head first. Good base running by Hunter Brady. And once again, McIntosh making a mistake. That'll be a single and then the error. Two balls, two strikes. One down, nobody on. And here comes the pitch from Etheridge. Swing and a miss strike three. Gets his fourth K. Eight up and eight down. Here is the pitch. Swing and a ground ball. Bouncing base hit into center field. That's the first hit of the game for McIntosh. In the final four, curveball is hit up in the air. Into center field, Trey Wingate moving to his left and coming in makes the catch for out number three. So McIntosh, the Buccaneers, stroke their first hit of the game. The number nine guy does it. That's Buzz Sons, but he's left at first base. As Etheridge gets the fly ball to center field to end it. Barry, a right-handed hitter, awaits the pitch from the right-hander. Swings and hits a bouncing ball up the middle for a base hit. So Barry has his 76th varsity hit, ninth of the season. One ball, two strikes. Here is the pitch. Swings and hits it between the five and six players. And the ball goes into left field. And being held up at third is Jeremy Beasley. Got it through that five-six hole. Shortstop third baseman. Pitch to Quintero. And he hits it right over the shoulder of the pitcher and into center field for a base hit. Cody Dixon was ducking on that one. 
And just like Bailey Salter, Ephraim Quintero comes up with a big two-out hit, and the Bulldogs score again. They scored in every frame. They leave five zip. And it's moving to the northeast. One one pitch, hit on the ground to Hunter Braddy. He's got it, almost hit right to him, and he throws. First base in time for the out, so he had him played well as far as positioning was concerned. The sophomore deals, the fastball is hit into the air to left field. Matthew Hall coming in, now backing up, now stopping and catching the ball. The wind is blowing a little, but checking the flag, not a lot. You can feel it up here in the press box. Open stance. Here's the stretch, here's the pitch. Ground ball hit to the right side of the infield to Hunter Braddy. Moves to his left, picks it up and throws it to Driggers for out number three. So a little threat, but James and the defense comes through. And the Bulldogs are still pitching the shutout, leading 5-0 as we take a break. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, right here on your home of the Bulldogs, Y101. Hit the ball to Driggers and he caught it. Hits the ball this time to Salter. He ranges to his right, handles a tough hop, throws to Driggers, who stretches and catches the ball for out number one. And Bailey had a tough little hop there at the last second. Kind of complicated to explain. There's a ground ball left side of the infield. Quintero charges in on the grass. He throws to Driggers, two down. Here's the Etheridge pitch. So we get a ground ball hopping over to Bailey Salter. Scoops it up, throws on the run in time for the out. The Bulldog defense plays well. Salter handling two balls. And of course, Ephraim Quintero charging one. It's this season, 76 in his Bulldog career. And he's been playing varsity ball since he was a freshman. What a pitch, curveball, slapped it left side. Thomas, the shortstop, with a nice pick. Throws to first base, close play. Barry beats it out for an infield hit. A week without getting 11 hits this spring. Here's Mixon jumping on the first pitch. Hits it over to Bailey Salter. Takes a nice high hop. Now he throws a low one into the dirt, and Drigger's able to dig it out for out number one. Nothing and two on Thorpe. Here's the pitch. Swing, and a strike three. James' first strikeout. Since he got the number eight guy back in the third, his fifth strike out of the game. He had three in a row, and the first and second. It apparently broke down. There's a one hopper to Hunter Brad. He flips it to Bailey Salter. Out there, throw to Driggers is low, and he tried to dig it, but couldn't. Here comes a runner in from third. Here's a Driggers throw. It's off the plate, and a run scores. And you can't anticipate the double play there, but the ball did get away from Driggers. Is that an error? But then I'm no expert. Certainly don't want to be an umpire. Swing and a miss, a breaking ball, strike three. James strikes out the pinch hitter and gets his sixth strike out of the ball game. And a 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three, and that ends it. So he still pitches a fine game, the seventh inning a little sloppy. But the Bulldogs get out of it, leave the bases loaded, and the Bulldogs win this game 5-1, to one, so they have their second region victory of the season over McIntosh County Academy. We'll come back and tell you what happened today if you missed some of it on Y101. Hits, right, good one. 